According to Hesiod, at the beginning of everything, there was chaos. It was an endless emptiness chaos. And from chaos, there came Gaia first, who was the earth and who created all the lands. Then the deepest place in the land of the dead, Tartarus. Then Eras, love. Then the darkness of the earth Nyx, night, was born with the darkness of the underworld, Erebus. Erebus and Nyx united to form Hemera, the personification of day, and Ether, the personification of the upper sky. He embodies the pure upper air that the gods breathe, as opposed to the normal air breathed by mortals. Gaia brought forth her equal Uranus, heaven, sky, to cover her on every side. Gaia also bore the Aurea, mountains, and Pontus, sea, without sweet union of love. I mean with no father. Afterwards, Gaia mated with her sons Uranus and Pontus, and filled the created universe with divine beings. Gaia lay with heaven and bore deep swirling Oceanus, Koyos and Creus, and Hyperion and Iapetus, Thea and Rhea, Timus, and Nimasini, and gold-crowned Phoebe, and lovely Tethys. After them was born Cronus, the vilely youngest and most terrible of her children, and he hated his last desire. Gaia conceived further offspring with Uranus, first the giant one-eyed Cyclops, Brontes, Thunder, Sterops, Lightning, and Arjay's Bride, then the Hecaton Chairs, Cotis, Briarius, and Geese each with a hundred arms and fifty heads. As each of the Cyclops and Hecaton chairs were born, Uranus hid them in a secret place within Gaia, causing her great pain. So Gaia devised a plan. She created a grey flint or adamantine sickle, and Cronus used the sickle to castrate his father Uranus as he approached Gaia to sleep with her. From Uranus' spilled blood, Gaia produced the Erinias, the giants and Meliae, ash tree nymphs. From the testicles of Uranus in the sea came forth Aphrodite. Aphrodite is born of the coast of Sathira on her own. Nyx gives birth to Morus, doom, destiny, to Carius, destruction, Thanatos, death, Hypno, sleep, the Oneroi, dreams, Melmus, blame, Oiseus, pain, distress, the Hesperides, the Moirai, fates, Nemesis, indignation, retribution, Apeats, deceit, Philotes, friendship, Geras, old age, Ares, strife. By her son Pontus, Gaia bore the sea deities Nereus, Thelmus, Phorcys, Ceto, and Eurybia. Nereus with Doris, the daughter of Titan Oceanus, fathered Nereids and Nereids, with whom Nereus lived in the Aegean Sea. Thomas' wife was Electra, one of the Oceanids, the many daughters of the Titans Oceanus and Tethys, by whom he fathered Iris, the messenger of the gods, and the Harpies. The children of Phorcys and Ceto, as the Graiae, naming only two Pamphredo and Enya, the Gorgons, Steno, Riley, and Medusa. Since Medusa was the only one of the three Gorgons who was mortal, Perseus was able to slay her while looking at the reflection from the mirrored shield he received from Athena. During that time, Medusa was pregnant by Poseidon. When Perseus beheaded her, Pegasus, a winged horse, and Chrysor, a giant wielding a golden sword, sprang from her body. Chrysor married to Calero, daughter of glorious Oceanus, was father to the triple-headed Geryon and Echidna who is half a nymph and half a huge snake. The terrible and lawless Typhon was joined in love to Echidna, and she bore fierce offspring, Ultras, Cerberus, and Leonian Hydra. The Tiagni mentions as a second ambiguous she, as the mother of the Chimera, a fire-breathing beast that was part lion, part goat, and had a snake at a tail, which may refer to Echidna, the possibly the Hydra or even Sito was meant instead. Hesiod next names two more descendants of Echidna, the Sphinx, a monster with a head of a woman and the body of a winged lion, and the Nemean lion, killed by Heracles as his first labor. As for the children of the Titans Cronus' siblings, Oceanus' consort is a sister to Tis, and from their union came the Ocean Nymphs, also referred to as the 3000 Oceanids, and all the rivers of the world, fountains and lakes. With his sister, the Titaness Thea, Hyperion fathered Helios, Sun, Selene, Moon, and Deus, Down. With Eurybia, daughter of Gaia, Earth, and Pontus, Sea, Creus fathered Strius, Pallas, and Perseus. The joining of Strius with Deus, the Down, brought for Eosphorus, the other stars and the winds, Boreas, Notus, Eurus. Cronus sired six children by Rhea, Hestia, Demeter, Hera, 
Hades, Poseidon, and Zeus in that order. Because Cronus had learned from Gaia and Uranus, he was destined to be overthrown by one of his children. He swallowed each of the children born to him by his titan sister Rhea. But when Rhea was pregnant with her youngest child, Zeus, she sought help from Gaia and Uranus. When Zeus was born, Rhea gave Cronus a stone wrapped in swaddle and clothes in its place, which Cronus swallowed, and Gaia took the child into her care. Phoebe is a titaness whose consort was her brother Koyos, with whom she had two daughters, Leto, who bore Apollo and Artemis, and Asteria, a star goddess who bore an only daughter, Hecate. After reaching manhood, Zeus forced Cronus to discourse first the stone, which was set down at Pytho under the glance of Panesis to be assigned to mortal man, the own flowers, then his siblings in reverse order of swallowing. Then Zeus released the brothers of Cronus, the Hecatron Chairs and the Cyclops from their dungeon in Tartarus, killing their guard's camp. As a token of their appreciation, the Cyclops gave them thunder and thunderbolts, or lightning, which had previously been hidden by Gaia. Together, Zeus, his brothers and sisters, the Hecatron Chairs and Cyclops overthrew Cronus and the other Titans in the combat called the Titanomachy. The defeated Titans were then cast into a shadowy underworld region known as Tartarus. Atlas, one of the titans who fought against Zeus, was punished by having to hold up the sky. After the battles with the titans, Zeus shared the world with his elder brothers Poseidon and Hades by drawing lots. Zeus cut the sky and air, Poseidon the waters, and Hades the world of the dead, the underworld. The ancient earth Gaia could not be claimed. She was left to all three, each coding their capabilities, which explains why Poseidon was the earth shaker, the god of earthquakes, and Hades claimed the humans who died. Gaia resented the way Zeus had treated the titans, because they were her children. Soon after taking the throne as king of the gods, Zeus had to fight some of Gaia's other children, the monsters Typhon and Echidna. He vanquished Typhon and trapped him under Mount Etna, but left Echidna and her children alive. Zeus married seven wives. His first wife was the Oceanid Metis, whom he impregnated Athena. Then, on the advice of Gaia and Uranus, swallowed Metis so that no son of his by Metis would overthrow him, as had been foretold. Zeus's second wife was his aunt, the Titan Themis, who bore the three Hoirai, Hours, Eunomia, Order, DK Justice, Irene, Pius, and the three Moirai, Fates, Ploto, Spinner, Lachesis, Elota, and Atropos, Unbending. Zeus then married his third wife, an Adrocianid Uranomy, who bore the three Charites, Graces, Aglaia, Splendor, whom Hephaestus married, Euphrosyne, Joy, and Talia, Good Cheer. Zeus's fourth wife was his sister Demeter, who bore Psephone. The fifth wife of Zeus was another aunt, the Titan Nemathene, from whom came the nine muses, Cleo, Utopi, Talia, Malpomene, Topscari, Erito, Polymnia, Urania, and Calliope. His sixth wife was a third aunt, the titan Leto, who gave birth to Apollo and Artemis. Zeus's seventh and final wife was a sister Hera, the mother by Zeus's of Hebe, Ares, and Elithia. Zeus finally gave birth himself to Athena for Misat, which angered Hera so much that she produced by herself her own son Hephaestus, god of fire and blacksmiths. Zeus, with Atlas's daughter Maya, produced Hermes and with the mortal Alcmene produced the hero Heracles, who married Hebe. Zeus and the mortal Semele, daughter of Harmonia and Cadmus, the founder and first king of Thebes, produced Dionysus. These new rulers of the universe are attacked by giants, Gigantes. According to Hesiod, the giants were the offspring of Gaia, born from the blood that fell when Uranus was castrated by his titan son Cronus. Gigantius, as man-sized hoplites, heavily armed ancient Greek foot soldiers, fully human in form. Later representations after 380 BC show Gigantius with snakes for legs. The attack upon Olympus is part of the Gigantomachy, as the giants attempt to seize the throne of heaven by piling mountain on mountain to the lofty stars, but Zeus overwhelms the giants with his thunderbolts, overturning from Ossa huge in Arms Pelion. There was a prophecy that the giants could not be killed by the gods alone, but they could be killed with the help of a mortal. Hearing this, Gaia sought for a certain plant that would protect the giants. Before Gaia or anyone else could find this plant, Zeus forbade Aeos, Selene, and Helios to shine, harvested all of the plants himself, and then he had Athena summon Heracles. 
Too many gods and goddesses joined the war dragon Tamaki, Polo, Arius, Artemis, Hecate, Hephaestus, Hermes, even Moirai. Athena crushed Enceladus under the island of Sicily and fled Pallas using his skin as a shield. To put it simply, the titans and giants suffered the same fate.